Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's me, Luke, from Madman Music, and I am pumped today that you could join me or at least want to spend a little bit of your day with me. And today, I want to take a look at identifying your brand color scheme in things like creating artwork, project messages, branding, all that fun stuff. Um, it can be really overwhelming to think about what direction to go in and even think about how to even get started using some tools to kind of create a cohesive look. And, you know, the reason we want to do this is because it's it looks good, doesn't it? I mean, you know, if you think about the early ages of a brand promotion or music artistry, there was always some kind of theme or color, something that will um, sort of el elicit a kind of message to the audience and they would respond in a certain way. You know, colors have this amazing thing of being able to affect somebody's mood. Um, we're not going to look too much at that because that's more into the psychology of using certain colors, which by all means uh, we can take a look at, but uh, not today. That's not the focus. It's just about finding the right color scheme to fit you. And as I mentioned, that is so important because it creates this cohesive look. It can help to make you look more professional and in turn, people will take you more seriously and will then go to buy and purchase and uh, be more invested in you. So let's jump in. Okay, so brand image or color schemes, which we're specifically looking at, is, it, again, like I said in the intro, it can be really, really overwhelming. And in fact, what I want a lot of people to do is to stop focusing too much on the overall brand image. Now, if that's something you want to do, by all means, go for it. And that could be kind of your theme. Um, but a lot of people actually prevent themselves from posting to social media, from sharing stuff, because it's got to have a certain look, right? Which is all well and good. But the way that I see it, I like to look at it as car manufacturers. Okay, let's take Ford, okay, or Volkswagen or any one of those large, huge, huge car companies. They are the main manufacturers. So Ford, Volkswagen, they are the manufacturer of cars. And then as you go down, that manufacturer has lots of different types of cars for different people. And I like to look at us musicians as the same thing. We have our brand, okay, so the manufacturer, and then what we put out, our projects that we share, that is our car, okay? That is our line of cars. And each project will appeal to different people. Each project will have slightly different uh, themes, slightly different things that we uh, kind of put into it and that people take from it. Okay. Not every project is going to be the same. So if you constrain yourself to one brand image and that's it, then you are potentially restricting um, this plethora of exploration with projects. Okay. So you almost want to take a look at focusing on project branding rather than overall artist imagery branding um, and color schemes and things like that. So that's just kind of my two cents on it. And I'd like to sort of dive into the first point, which is identifying your color scheme, your mood, the, you know, what, what do you use? How do you find the colors that represent the project? Or uh, if you, if you want to go for brand image, then go for it. Uh, I think we'll refer to projects. I think that'll be easier because uh, obviously projects you can change and uh, take different things. But the first one, uh, identifying the mood of your project. Okay. First, you want to decide what it is that your project represents. Okay. Uh, what message is it getting across? Um, is it energetic? Is it moody, monochrome, sad, colorful? You know, how does it make you feel? What is it supposed to make the user or listener feel? How are they supposed to react when they um, see and listen and just involve themselves in your project? You know, is it supposed to take them off to some galaxy far, far away? Or is it supposed to be some kind of um, really chill out, lo-fi vibe, in which case you probably want like soft colors, okay? Something that's going to be uh, very 
uh, subtle and cooling, okay? So think about your message, okay? And again, that that's probably the easiest way to do it, okay? Just think about your brand message and think about the kind of emotions that that um, elicits to you, a listener. And you can use that as a drawing point. So uh, let's think of an example. If you're looking for an energetic brand, well, if you think about energy, energy is exciting. So if you then try and translate that to colors, you're going to have something that is quite colorful. There's going to be lots of colors popping, lots of contrast because it's quite extreme and contrast is quite exciting. If you're looking for something quite sad and um, melancholy, then you're going to want something less invasive on the eye. You're going to want something more um, kind of flowy, something, you know, colors are a bit softer. The contrast is not quite as drastic. Uh, the colors are a little darker, a bit more faded, perhaps. If you're looking for something light and airy, then maybe something like pastel. Okay, so these lighter versions of colors um, where they where they have this kind of, uh, well, I guess pastel look to them, don't they? They're a bit white and uh, they just very light in look. Okay, and that could be uh, something that a message that you're trying to get across. So think about your brand or your project message. Okay. And even, and this kind of goes on to my point too now, if you're struggling to identify that, okay, you can find inspiration in pop culture, okay? And think about comics, video games, movies, cartoons, just any other musicians on the planet, interior design, Pinterest, Instagram hashtags, okay? I mean, interior design is a great one because they literally specialize in combining colors. So use that as um, as kind of your reference point. And actually, I've got a couple of, of things here, uh, sites to show you. If you're on YouTube, you'll be able to see this. If you're on the podcast, I will try and uh, just explain what it is that we're looking at. But there is a site that I actually really like to use for color inspiration. Okay, uh, well, there's two. The first one is Pinterest, which uh, we should all know of. If not... This is a great tool to use. Uh, but the second one is Unsplash. And if I just go to my screen here, it's just unsplash.com. It is really, really user-friendly. And what you're greeted with is this nice big homepage uh, where they have lots of featured pictures uh, that you can scroll down and take a look at. And it seems like there's a bit of a theme with these featured pictures, which is kind of uh, blacks and golds and yellows and things like that. And so what you could do, you could easily look at that and go, oh, I really like the colors in that. Um, and then at the top here, they have a search bar. And what you can do in the search bar is just type in, um, I don't know, some kind of feeling. So if you think that your brand is energetic, okay, you could type in something like, if I can type energetic. And then if you take a look at energetic, you can start seeing these different pictures. It basically Unsplash has a whole bunch of pictures that are tagged with keywords. And so when you search for these keywords, you're going to be listed all of these different colors and pictures to do with energy. And that's energetic. There's a lot of sports pictures that we're looking at here at the moment. And, you know, you can see there's one here with kind of uh, red and white and then a kind of a gray, bluey, teal background. Uh, there's another one here where you've got this gold sunset and then this really contrasting uh, black silhouette figure. So these are all showing energy in their color scheme. So you could easily take a look at these pictures and make a note of three, four of the colors within that picture and then apply that to your own project. Okay. So Unsplash, really, really great tool to find inspiration. A second great tool uh, is to use a color wheel. So let's say uh, as well, you want a, you, you love the color red. Okay. But your project is quite sad. You know, you could just quickly search on Unsplash. Okay. Sad red. And we can see we've kind of got this, uh, kind of very dark blood red umbrella in this kind of dark back, um, background. What you could then do is then take it to Adobe color wheel. So just go to Google and type in Adobe color wheel. All right. And then here, you also have different um, kind of color harmony rules. 
So you can select uh, all these different ones from the list to the left. There's a list just to the left that you click on and it will change what kind of color rule you have. So you can have complementary, you can have square, you can have compound colors, you can have shades. And then what you do is there is a main color wheel in the center here and you grab it and you move it to the color that you want. So we sort of found this blood red that we liked um, in, in the Unsplash. So what I would do is I kind of go across until I can find my my blood red. And that was a, I got a notification there. It was quite loud, wasn't it? So I can grow go across this color wheel and find the blood red color or as close to it as I can here. And there's, they've also got sliders as well. So when you're trying to find the perfect color, you can grab the sliders and also make everything just a lot darker. So what I've done is I've just pulled this slider in the window here and made it a lot darker so it looks more like a blood red. And then what I can do is I can now click on these other colors, these color rules here on the left hand side, and I can find a color scheme that works with that blood red. So I've just clicked on a triad color rule here and you can see that there is um blues uh, there's a bit of a i guess like a it's almost like a um it's, it's greeny color and a really dark plum sort of color as well so you can look at those colors and go right okay i'm going to use that in my color scheme uh for my project okay so that is a really simple, easy way to find uh, inspiration on what colors to use in a certain project, okay? Use Unsplash, use Adobe Color Wheel, take a look at Pinterest as well, and interior designs and stuff like that. Really, really good stuff, okay? The third point now is incorporating this into what you're doing. So if you are, if you've decided on a color scheme, what you could then do is very simply take a picture with something of that color scheme. So maybe you could wear a certain outfit. Uh, you, you could have blue jeans, red top or something. That might be your color scheme and you can have that up against a white wall. You might find a purple phone box and that is your, you know, you want some purple in your, in your color scheme there. And, you know, you dress for the occasions, kind of match that and match the overall aesthetic of the colors as well. And again, what, what colors you see here on you know, aren't the only th colors that you can use. Obviously, you can have stuff bleed in, um, lots of other different colors, because that, that can create some quite unique looks, to be honest. And I do encourage that you experiment with this as well. You know, don't just use this as the be-all and end-all, because, you know, again, constraint is good, but, you know, you don't want to not do something just because it doesn't fit into what you've planned, all right? So taking a picture with colors of your color scheme in the picture, okay? Another thing you can do, and if you're going for like the Instagram feed look to be consistent and this, that, and the other, what you can look at is adding tints to your picture. So when you've taken a picture, add a tint, okay? And you can do that just with some free photo editing apps on your phone. Um, First one being Lightroom, second one being Photofox. These are two of my favorite apps. I think you can use Canva as well. That's more for creating uh, kind of illustrations and stuff like that. But Lightroom and Photofox, Lightroom is on both iOS and Android. Photofox is on iOS only. But these are my favorite ones. I really like these. These are really, really great tools to quickly edit and add interesting stuff to your pictures. And so if you've got a theme, for a project and for a few pictures when when you're uploading you kind of want this little blue tinge okay to your to your picture you can just go to these apps and you can add a blue layer and just turn it down a little bit you know just kind of blend it in so that it's not over the top unless that's what you want to go for there's no rules really not over the top just blending it in you know just kind of turning it up a little bit uh, so that you kind of have this tinge and it will create quite a nice look across the feed there. Um, also good, you know, if it coincides with a project release with certain color branding as well. So that's what I would say. They, those, those are the tools that I would use to try and incorporate those colors into your into your brand image, okay? And just a little bonus tip here as well. Uh, use Unsplash, you know, we've not really talked about creating artwork, but I love to use Unsplash.com, the website that I mentioned before. 
they're free images. They're there to be used for free. They're on there for free and they're high quality professional images. I genuinely can't believe that something like this is free. You can just pull one of those images and easily edit it in Lightroom or PhotoFox, add a bit of text on it, and you've got yourself some very simple, basic artwork. And if you're typing in the keywords, so the colors that you're looking for, using the, the tools that we discussed earlier, well, then it's really quite easy and simple. Like it, it, it suddenly, this very uh, sort of daunting task to create artwork becomes very simple and easy. So definitely take a little look at that and use that to your advantage. Okay. So really, I think the takeaway point from all of this is, you know, don't overthink it and, you know, look for inspiration around you. Don't be afraid to draw ideas and inspiration from other artists. And again, like I mentioned, pop culture, just look to other things, look at what looks great. At the end of the day, you know, they look great for a reason. And if something looks great, well then take it, grab it, you know, grab it, run with it and try and apply it to your brand in your own way. Um, you know, use the color wheel to, to come up with new sources of inspiration, you know, and, and decide on, on what colors best suit your message. Okay. Take a look at inspiration, you know, look at it, decide what it makes you feel and see if that works with your brand as well. And again, work on a project basis as opposed to a brand. I think branding is cool for an artist, but we have, we, we put out lots of projects. We do lots of little things. We are not just one brand and then that's it. That's the only thing about us. No, we have lots of things like music, merch. And, you know, when you sell merch, you don't want the branding to be exactly the same as the previous line of merch because, you know, that's going to be boring. People will buy into that the first time, but then they won't buy the second time because they've already got it, right? They've already got that color scheme. So don't be afraid to pivot and develop and change your brand scheme as you go. That is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with sticking um, to or, or moving to different color schemes there. Super, super easy. Look, thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate that you even just spend even a portion of your day with me. I really appreciate it. And if you're looking for ways uh, to kind of jumpstart the creativity and kind of get things like this moving, you know, dedicate uh, time and, 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 and kind of get your, your brand moving, okay, and getting these colors going, um, I've got a free guide, which is out at the moment, looking at jumpstarting your creativity and it's a really great little ebook. Um, well, guide, it's only about seven or eight pages or something like that. And you can find it at www.madman-music.com forward slash forward slash jumpstart. And like I say, it's just a way to jumpstart your creativity and just get moving because we all kind of procrastinate a little bit and even procrastinating things like choosing brand image and color schemes and things like that is something that we put off. So we want to try and get over that hurdle, beat that, and I've got this guide that should hopefully help you in that. Like I say, madman-music.com forward slash jumpstart. Go check it out. Again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.